Alhani, quite a few uh, changes. And when you look back at last night, we were talking 165 miles an hour. We're now down to 115. This uh, storm is struggling a little bit, but it is expected to gain strength again and become a Category 4. There's a lot of dry air getting entrained in it. We also have a situation where it's beginning to slow down a little bit and uh, a little bit of wind shear at the same time. As the storm continues to push toward the west-northwest, eventually it will become, uh, it'll slow down and almost stall uh, off the, uh, well, east of the Bahamas. Uh, there it is there tonight. We also have, of course, our other system, which is Margo. Uh, in just in the last couple of hours, looking a little bit better. The hurricane hunters, though, um, having uh, difficulty finding, you know, the winds that we saw earlier today of, uh, you know, 150 to 160 miles an hour. So right now it's 115, moving west-northwest at 13 miles an hour. The forecast track, you can see, and intensity bringing it back to a four on the weekend. And then you'll notice this. Uh, a pretty distinct turn toward the northwest. It's starting to show up a little more now because out day five, that is Wednesday and into early Thursday, when we expect that turn to take place. And the model tracks tonight, you know, they're pretty much straight west-northwest. And then on Wednesday, they start to lift north. Why are they doing that? Two reasons. Bermuda High. This storm can't go north through the Bermuda High. It acts like a wall, so it has to go around it. And at the same time, there's a trough digging down, a pretty significant trough for this time of year. It allows a weakness in the atmosphere, almost like a funnel, and it pushes it north. And the timing, uh, it, sometimes the timing has to be really critical here. Everything has to match up. But even if it sits here for a day or two, the winds, the steering winds off the coastline are still west to east, and it should keep us away from Florida. But we will get a significant swell and beach erosion.